Hi everyone, welcome back. Paper Mario, I'm Tom, we're standing on a bridge. We left off right before this boss fight with this friendly bird looking fellow. He's actually a pain in the ass, so. There is a way to avoid fighting him actually, so. I'm not gonna show that, I actually wanna fight him because it's good experience and it's good practice, so. Hold up a sec there, partner. Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. I like how he's a hillbilly. Southern boy. Uh, takes out a piece of paper. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. What's your name? So if you say Luigi, he'll actually let you go by. But we're gonna say Mario. Mario, well I'll be. Time to fight. Alright, let's do it. Probably should have saved. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so, I'm gonna start off with a little tattle here. See if we can figure out what his health is. I'm pretty sure he has 40 health. So, buzzer. Yeah, he's got 40 health. Oh, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. Okay, at that point, why don't you change to Barakani? I think that's what I did last time. Yeah. I wanna say it is. Okay. So if we button mash here, It'll reduce the damage we take on that attack, and then the other attack is like he comes and claws us, so... A couple different things that he does. Now, I do have the ability to continuously multi-bounce. This is gonna be the big one, so if I can land these hits... I might even turn the audio down, just so I don't have to hear it, because it throws me off so much. I'd rather look at the screen and do it that way. Okay, so I got a couple out of there. That wasn't too bad. It's better than doing like a two-hitter. Oh, shoot. Let me be okay. Sorry, I got the sniffles, too. My nose is running. As you all know, I've been saying I'm sick, so... Or I feel like I'm getting sick. Alright. We're doing a couple decent hits here. That's pretty good. It's better than nothing. Shell shot. Attack an enemy in, in the air by bumping into it. What do I do? Press to the left and release when aiming at... Okay. Oh, that's so easy. Nice, I deflected that for one, too. All right, we're in good good shape here. Oh, that was horrible. I was holding the controller like a dingus. What a dummy. Okay, perfect. I'm already button mashing. Uh, I used to be so good at button mashing. That's a tough one to do. Thank God. Okay, so at this point, I think I'll just use my... Maple syrup. I'm gonna save the star thing until my health gets below five, uh, less than ten, because then it uh, it would be a waste if I prematurely used it. Right in the face. Ah, what the hell? He threw feathers at me. Why would those even hurt? Okay, let's try this again. Thirteen health. We're taking him down pretty good. Oh, I thought I did that one extremely early. I thought it was gonna mess it up. I was ready for that to mess it up. Now, is there a way I can get better than nice with that, or no? Oh, butt mashing time! Oh, oh shit. That's gonna hurt. Okay. You know what? Here's how we finish them, then. Let's refresh. We'll get some health, and then we're gonna take him down. Actually, this fight's not too bad. I'm actually doing a lot better this time than I did the first time around. I went into it a little smarter, too, so this will take him out. It serves you right to be taken out by another bird or flying creature, I should say. Ooh, 15 star points. Mario's like, no, no. Wow, I got whooped. Yeah, you did. Get out of here. He's kind of a funny character. All right, now we get to descend the mountain. How nice. That means we're pretty much done with Mount Rugged, then. Any secret spots over here? Nope, nothing hidden. Figured. Maybe they would get tricky. Alright. Now this next area that we're going to be entering might just be the most annoying place in the game. I'm going to save too. It is, without a doubt... Oh, that's not the path. Probably the most... It's probably the largest place in the entire game. Let's talk to these guys. 
Uh, old boy, yes I am old. Hey, it's Colorado. Somebody mentioned this guy. You're trying to find the dry dry ruins, okay. Gather information at dry dry outpost. That's where we're probably gonna need to go. You're Colorado. The name's Parrot Gary, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you, hang on a moment. Hey, we do have one. Another letter, duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. I like how there's always a postman in Nintendo games, like you got the Zelda postman. <laughs> uh, old chap, give me strength to go on. Pass this along as a spot of thanks. Huh, what did he get? Oh, a star piece. Why do I not remember that happening when I practiced? Oh well. Just go due east, okay. Perfect, we'll wanna do that. Right now we're waiting on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to try to bring back some information. All right, well, we'll go over there and try to find them for you. But basically this place, it's a seven by seven grid. And the enemies here, I'll get out Goombario. They can be pretty difficult, but it's a good grinding spot. Cause you can always bounce back and forth between the desert entrance where there was a healing point and then you got the town where there's another healing point. I'm gonna avoid all these guys for now because again, I'm not, I'm not looking to fight them at the moment. Well, you know, I could do one battle just to get them tattled and then I'll grind on them later. Oh, don't want to run into him. He'll send you to different spots within the area too. Cause there's a lot to do here. Obviously with a seven by seven grid, that means there's 49 different spaces that you can go into to explore, but there's not a lot of stuff laying around here. So we're just gonna pick up the key items or go to the key spots. Okay, so Dry Dry Desert should be right at the end here. And yeah, because of the trees. I feel like there's something in these trees. All right, let's fight this guy. So these guys will steal from you. Basically what they do is they'll steal coins from you. So as long as you keep hitting them, they won't be able to hold on to the coins. So you won't actually lose any of them. But because they have five health, that can make it a little difficult. So I'm gonna Quake Hammer him. What? Why can't I Quake Hammer? Oh, I took the Quake Hammer out. Oh crap. You know what? It's cheaper to run away, honestly. I'll lose less coins doing that, because if I don't, oh man, I gotta switch my badges out. Jesus. Okay, we don't need that. I don't really need that. Multi bounce is gonna be not hammer throw and quake hammer. What else should I use? I don't really need close call. I don't need that either. Uh, whatever. Power jump. I gotta take one out quick. It's better than nothing. All right, let's try this again. I want to show you guys how I, I like what these guys can do. So we'll quake hammer them real quick. All right, that'll hit him for two. And then let's change to Cooper, because Cooper's going to be helpful since they're in a row. I can't defend these guys to save my life when they're up close. Oh, I did that that time. Spoke a little too soon. But basically, if you block them, they can't take coins from you. So as long as you kill them, they won't be able to actually run away with those coins. So you basically just always want to use your Quake Hammer. And then I would always use Coops because he has that move, the shell uh, power shell move, where it just goes through all of them. So it's like the best. It's the best combo, either using multi bounce or Quake Hammer with Coops. And you can level up pretty quick fighting these guys, as you can see. I mean, I just got that many star points for that. So it's definitely a good way to grind and a good way to get some coins. Because these guys drop a lot. So we only have one more enemy. We actually got a tattle in here. But I feel like there was something in one of these trees. That's why I keep hitting them. Maybe I'm thinking incorrectly. I don't know. Is there a tree down here? No, it's just a path. No, well, I don't want to get lost in the desert. I'd rather make it to the town because we're getting close on time. Maybe it was here where there's a tree that you can hit. And get something out of it. And it's all just coins so far. I should probably get some health items. Because I have a lot of items for flower power. But like tons of honey and stuff and like maple syrups. I don't really have anything for health. I have that shroom, that one mushroom. That's it, though. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, who is that for? Who is that for? I didn't see. Let's see. It said something. Something about a village or something like that. Oh, God. I got a lot of letters. Merlon and Toad Town, Morty, Mort T and Koopa Village, 
Goomba and Goomba Village. Okay, well, I'll have to go visit those guys. Welcome, travelers. You must have had a long journey, hot journey we're getting here. A long, hot journey getting here. Yeah, this is Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town. So, you better keep it in mind. Okay. Although we won't see him. All right. Is that him? Damn, he took off quick. Look at these guys wrapped up in turbans. Toads with turban heads. That's funny. Turban heads is so wrong to say. That's so mean to say. I take that back. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <clears throat> hey, is this Chuck Quizmo? No way, it is Chuck Quizmo. All right, let's try it. I don't know the answer to it, so we'll see. All right, what do we have? Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? It's yellow. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right, another star piece from the Mr. Quizmo. Oh, shoot, we're over on time. All right, well... I think that's going to call it for this episode because I don't have any time left and we're already over it. So I will see you guys in the next part. We'll do a little more exploring of the town and then continue on from there. Thanks for watching.